I've replaced this one with this one. Hello, what is up everyone? And today, I am wearing a debatable colour shirt. And for those of you who are returning viewers, it is Saturday and that can only mean one thing. What, what is that one thing, I hear you ask? More of this, this, and this. Because that is what you subscribe to, for some reason. I also have a new canvas. <coughs> now onto the video. So today, I plan to bring to you events I think are gonna be relevant to everyone. If they do just happen to me, I think I lead quite an embarrassing life. Without further ado, let's crack on with number one. I don't know about girls for this one, but I'm pretty sure all guys go through this. It's what I call the next day hair. This is basically the difference between when you get your hair cut and styled by the barber and the next day when you come to do your own hair. Let me show you. I just got back from the hairdressers. I've got a new haircut. Freshly cut, freshly styled. I like it. It's uh, day two of my new haircut. Just thought I would style it this morning. Here it is. I tried my best. It never looks the same as the hairdressers. Never. Number two. So this one happens every time I go out drinking. Water, obviously. Don't go thinking anything else now. But basically, it's a list of things I need to check for when I wake up to make sure everything's okay. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to relate to this. <sighs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Where, where is it? Oh, Woo. there it is. Oh. Where are they? Where are they? Oh. There they are. Number three. I feel like this one proves that teenagers have kind of low expectations in life. And it's also a bit weird. It's when I'm watching a TV show or a movie of some sort, and my parents don't know what it is. And in that TV show or movie, one of the characters makes a noise that sounds a little bit dodgy. Like a, ah, 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 ooh, ah. This then immediately makes me think that my parents think something weird of me, so I end up turning down this thing to make sure it doesn't sound too dodgy. I can't be the only one. Ah, ah. Oh, ah. Ah. No, no, honestly, it's not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. Okay, so next up I have what I call the... I don't want it to be my fault if the house gets burgled. This is where you leave the house and you lock the door. Your brain doesn't quite sink that you've locked the door. You leave, go to do something else, and you think, oh shit, did I lock the door? So you end up walking all the way back home, no matter how far you got, checking the door, and 99% of the time, it's locked. It drives me mental, but I still do it. Of course I did. This one's a little bit strange. I find myself in a situation where I'm walking, maybe downtown, and I've walked the wrong way, so I need to turn around. I feel that if I turn around in the middle of the street, people are gonna judge me for kind of getting halfway somewhere, turning around, and then just walking off. So, I come up with an excuse. Yes, for some reason, I decide to get out my phone, pretend to look at it, and then I can use that as an excuse to then turn around and walk away. Like what? I don't even understand that myself, but I do it. I really don't understand myself. This one I'm sure most of you do. So you've got a song on that you like, it's... Would you go away? So you've got a song that you like, you're singing away, you're singing away, you're dancing away, you're having a good time. But then wait, you get a word wrong, or a dance move wrong, or something, you've gone and ruined the moment. You really feel like you have to make the song start again. This happens so frequently for me. I think restarting the song makes it so that I can redeem the moment I just ruined. Enjoy. Standing, Standing in a crowded room and I can't see your face. Standing in a crowd. Put your arms up. Put your arms up. <coughs> Standing in a busy room. Put your arms around me. Tell me everything's going right. 
put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay! Huh? My mic? Why is everyone moaning at me? And finally, I cannot be the only person who loses multiple items down what I call the pit of doom. Just let me show you, I'm sure you'll understand. This thing right here. Like honestly, the amount of stuff that must get lost down this gap. And I mean, where does it go? Like you look underneath and it just vanishes. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. It's like a little gold mine under there. But anyway, I'm pretty sure most of you will be able to relate to most of the things in this video. Wow, wow, wow. If you can to relate to what? If you can to relate what? If you can relate to any of these things, be sure to give this video a like. Be sure to press the red square button that says subscribe on it. I'm sure it'll make your life happier. Actually, you know what? I can't guarantee that, but I can guarantee it'll make me happier. Pow, pow, pow. And I'll be sure to see you next week with more of this. Not exactly but there'll be some sort of video. Bye!